All right, so we're gonna be opening up and disassembling this Del Vostro 5590. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is use a GIS one screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, um, these two corner screws are stuck in there and that actually helps pop these corners up. You'll actually hear it click. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue removing these screws. All right, you want to keep, <coughs> excuse me, you want to keep all these screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right, so we're going to go ahead and remove this other corner. Again, these two corner screws actually um, stay attached to the bottom cover. Actually, this one's coming out, but normally it doesn't. Okay, you can see that one came up. Right, get this one out. Okay, this one, and then the bottom four down here. All right, this video helps you out. Make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right. Just about done. Alright, there we go. Okay, so again, normally these would just pop out as it kind of pulls this. So I'm going to pull this up. You can see we popped out that clip. I'm going to try and get this screw back in. There we go. All right, so this screw, um, it should pop up and then just be stuck in the case like that. All right, same thing with this side. Okay, to remove the bottom cover, I'm just going to get my fingernails in the little gaps here between the cover and the panel. So like here, okay. And then I'm going to push with my thumb on the back and pull with my fingernails. If it doesn't come out, we're going to have to open it up and then from the inside from the other side but let's see here so you can see that doesn't really work right so let's go ahead and open it up this way okay and then we'll get our fingernails here and then we'll pop here oh it's turning itself on so we are gonna have to make sure to turn that back off okay but there we go let me shut this down so this laptop um, I actually worked on it earlier let me okay and what was wrong with it was the hinges broke um, so I already fixed that issue as you can see but anyways let's go ahead and pop this open you don't want to push on the touchpad area so you just go like this go around and then go to this side and then continue okay make sure that you don't press on the touchpad or trackpad area all right we're gonna go ahead and go around the side now this way you can see we got all of that up. We can go ahead and carefully close that. We got this whole front edge open now. So what you want to do, you can actually get in there, pull it up, and then you can continue working around the sides. And if this doesn't go, then of course, again, you might want to go from the other side. But it looks like the sides work okay this way. Okay, so just continue working like that pushing with your thumbs and pulling with your fingernails and there we go okay so we got this whole edge up only the back is held down uh, we should be able to kind of lift it and wiggle it and there we go so we got the bottom cover off okay then we can take a look at the inside um, so I forgot to show everything when I did the hinge one so here you can see you got an m.2 um, I believe there's a PCIe NVMe. Yes, it is. There's an M.2 PCIe NVMe slot. You can see they're using this really short version. Uh, what's that? Is that? No. I don't know. There's some little bit of some plastic or something stuck in it. So we'll get that out. Throw that away. Okay. So this has this little metal bracket that you can actually move. Um, so this you have to kind of lift up here because it has this metal dimple that sticks down into this hole and then you also have to push these two side ones down which is tough because the 
this has wings that stick out and slide underneath here and then the dimples stick up through the other side so it's a little bit tricky and then after that you can slide that whole metal piece out that way um, I'm not going to do that but yeah I've had some other Dell models where I had to do that the customer here since they just had the hinge issue I'm not going to mess around with this and then risk damaging anything but uh, yeah you can move this piece to this one here and then you can use the full side full size m.2 pcie mgme ssds all right you got this io board here with the uh, ethernet port usb3 um, the headphone jack and then the micro sd card slot you got the speaker connector here uh, which connects to the motherboard right there you got the bio cmos rtc real-time clock battery here all right the connectors right there um, the speaker does have a wire running along down here all the way to the other speaker so both speakers connect at this one spot all right you got a wireless antenna here and a wireless antenna here um, that's what the copper things are uh, the wires are running along and then connecting to the wireless card right there there's one screw holding it down after you remove that screw, you can kind of lift the thing up slightly at the back and then pull it out. Wireless antennas, to remove them, you go from the tail and then you just pull it straight up, but you do have to remove this metal bracket first. Uh, there's a slot for a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. You can put a 2.5 inch SATA SSD if you want. If you want a lot more storage, you can use that. But if you want a faster storage, then you want to upgrade the PCIe NVMe SSD to a larger um, capacity okay but again you do have this two and a half inch SATA hard drive as an option there is an adapter here so you can see this cable that connects the SATA connector here into this and this has a little latch that you flip up and then you can slide that cable in and then you slide that latch back down right they even show you on here they have some pictures showing you how to do that so you can take a look at yours and you should have that right battery model if you need it is right there YRDD6, okay. Um, battery is replaceable with, there's one screw here, 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 and one down here with my thumb, okay. And you do have to move this connector over. So there's adhesive, you'd have to peel that off and then pull that connector out. Um, this side also has this, and then you can pull that connector out. I usually grab the wings and I wiggle it with my thumb and finger till it kind of pulls out right you have this connector here for the um i believe that's for the touchpad trackpad keyboard backlight connector keyboard connector these all have like a flip latch here flip latch here and flip latch here um, then you have this little cable here for the power button up there all right and what else cpu is soldered down to the motherboard so you can't do anything about that um, unless you have special tools if you have those special tools then you already know how to do it um, if you don't know how to do it then you won't have the tools and you won't know how to and you wouldn't be able to do it All right lcd lvds connector is right here don't mess with this unless you disconnect the battery open up the laptop and press the power button for at least 15 seconds or you're going to damage your motherboard damage the screen damage this cable damage lots of things and it's not going to be worth fixing after that you got the fan here two screws fan connector is right there same thing you can grab the wings of the black plastic connector wiggle it and slowly pull it out okay and other than that we have one slot here for ram it looks like so let's go ahead and open this and take a look oh yeah so we have one slot it's ddr4 or pc4 ram um it looks like the rest of the RAM is soldered to the motherboard somewhere. I don't even see where. So it's probably just like underneath the motherboard on the little chips. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So you can upgrade the RAM if you want. But again, you can only add one stick and the other is soldered to the motherboard. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to center this, get a thumbnail, and then I'm just going to put the bottom cover back on. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, so line everything up and then go ahead and click everything down into place. 
just like that. This, um, it helps to sometimes twist it backwards till it clicks and then go ahead and tighten it down. Again, as you tighten it, you do have to click that all the way down. So do that. Okay, work your way over and then we'll tighten this one down. Why is this not, it did something and now it doesn't go in right. Okay, there we go. And to put more pressure down into it to get the screw to go in. Okay, there we go. Take that into place. Good. And then we just get the rest of the screws in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully you were able to do some upgrades from this. RAM, hard drive, SSD. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. And we're just going to get the rest of these screws in. You're welcome to stay. But other than that, I will see you all in the next one. All right. Let's get these last few screws in. And that's pretty much it. It's really windy and rainy outside right now. It's like midnight right now. Let's get this all back in. Alright, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and open it back up, power it back on. This laptop <laughs> likes to turn itself on when you open the screen. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll mm -hmm. see you on the next one. Alright, let's drop this bike.